All right, we're at the shack here. And this is the uh, the box for my uh, all my coaxes. Goes up all the way up into the shack. And it goes underground. Goes all the way over here. Way in the back of the shed here. Up here is where all my antennas are. I'll show you that in a minute. What? I come into my box here. Oh, geez, I can. Some grow, some weeds growing in here. I gotta cut these back, but uh, yeah, that comes up from underground, comes in the back there. We'll climb the rock here and go check out the antennas. This is a 05 10 through 40 antenna. It's about 27 feet tall plus the 10 foot mast. It's got an un un. This thing works pretty well. Got it made a little tilt over base here. Things guide off with steel cables. And I have some deck run cable holding up the uh, vertical element there, just for extra precaution. Everything's tied down. Steel cables into some cutoff tree stumps there. May eventually have to drill into the rock and anchor them in when these things rot out, but. But now they're pretty solid and uh, up here I don't know if you can see the long wire here but that's uh, my G5 RV it goes all the way from here to the, the end of the house and it goes all the way back into the woods a little bit here and there's my Mickey Mouse little ballon little choke whatever set up in the tree here attaching into my balanced ladder line and then it goes up to the feed point right about there so I mean it works it gets out like a bandit I wish it was a little higher but uh, that's what I could do for now so and as you can see it's my house line right there I got a 2 meter 440 antenna and an Antron right there right now. Another Antron over here. But, um, yep, slowly but surely. Getting a little better antenna set up here. And, uh, this thing works great. Oh, that's the antenna system. <laughs> 